Hi guys, I'm back. So uh, today I'm gonna show you literally step by step how I paint this painting. So uh, don't forget to watch my whole video. So uh, before I start anything, let me tell you I didn't really make any video for this last month because I was uh, very busy with the orders that I'm getting uh, on my Etsy shop and also um, with my this uh, painting uh, online uh, business. I so if you see my last video, uh, I also uh, create a video and then uh, also make all the art kits and sell it on my website. Uh, so if you are new to my uh, YouTube channel, go ahead and check it out. I'm just going to post uh, the link of, the, of my website down below in the description. So go ahead and check it out. But here I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I paint this painting step by step, literally. So in case if you are interested in any of my other painting, if you wanna paint those, uh, you can always check out my website and you can always buy a kit from me. And you gonna get all of the art supplies. You don't have to buy anything else. So here I'm gonna start. And when you order a painting kit from me, you're gonna get a video that looks something like this. And uh, before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for painting with us today. I'm Katika. So let's start with the kit, uh, what you receive in your kit first. So you might have a 16 by 20 size of the canvas, which looks like this. Or you might have 8 by 10 size of canvas, which is uh, something like this. Uh, I'm going to be painting on this bigger canvas so that you can see me clearly. But if you are painting on this smaller one, uh, whatever I paint on this bigger one, you can just follow me uh, on the smaller one. It's almost the same step. In case if there is any different, uh, if you are painting on this smaller one, I will let you know. All right, so uh, make sure you have a cup of water and uh, make sure you grab maybe a couple of paper towels so you can dry your brushes. All right, so now uh, these are the colors that we're gonna be using today. White, brown, green, yellow, blue. And orange. All right, so uh, let's see what brushes we're gonna be using today. Alright, so are you ready to paint? So uh, let's see, this is the painting that we're going to be painting today. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my biggest brush, biggest black brush, and then I'm going to start working on my background. Um, my background is just the two colors, brown and white. So let's start with that first. So uh, I'm going to grab my biggest brush first. I'm going to uh, just dip my bristles in the water. And then wipe it on the edges. Alright, so now all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of brown, not too much, just a tiny little brown, just on the tip of my brush like this. And all I'm going to do is just go a little crazy and there is no right, no wrong in your background. This is your background. You can make it darker, lighter, however you want to. Alright, so all I'm going to do is apply vertical strokes like this, just going up and down. So as you can see, I have water in my brows and just a tiny little brown. So that's why my brown is not too dark. But if you like your background darker, you can just always take some more brown. Alright, so I'm just going to keep doing that, taking tiny little brown. If you feel like you are getting any fuzzier line, that means uh, your bristles are very dry. So I just uh, use a little bit of water in my brush and then uh, go back on that paint. And you're gonna see a big difference. It will be so much easy to apply your paint then. All right, so let's just cover our whole canvas by doing this. I'm just using brown for now. I'm gonna come back and add some white. Not a lot, just a tiny little white. But again, if you are getting, uh, let me show you on one corner. So let me show you if you are getting any darker line like this. And uh, I'm trying to get this kind of a very thin brown paint on my canvas. So for that, I'm using a little bit of water just a tiny bit of water and then go back and this is gonna make your brown lighter just like that you can take your time going all the way to the top 
coming all the way to the bottom. And that's perfectly fine if some of your ear is slightly darker than the other side. That's gonna give a very nice texture, texture of wool. So, uh, just keep working. Uh, I'm just gonna stop you just for a second um, because uh, if you're working on a easel like me, you it might be hard for you to do the bottom also. So, if that's the thing, you can always flip your canvas like this and just put it on the easel again, and then it will be so much easy to do the top then. And don't forget to flip it back again. Alright, so in case if your background is just a one color and you don't have this kind of a variation, like some area is darker, some area is lighter, all you have to do is take some more brown in your brush and then randomly apply this kind of a vertical line, very dark one, like that. Just very randomly I'm applying here. And then I'm gonna go back on those lines to kind of a blend it with the background color and that's gonna make it nice and darker, especially that, that area where you apply your brown. some white but not a lot just a tiny little white so I'm not really cleaning my brush here we don't have to I'm just gonna take a teeny teeny tiny little white like this and do you remember how we applied our uh, brown last time uh, we're gonna be doing the same thing I'm just gonna apply vertical lines like this just so very random on my canvas just gonna take a tiny little more white for here and then I'm just gonna spread this and blend it with the background color so that some of your area is slightly more lighter than the other so just play around with your colors see if you like more darker see if you like more lighter and the best way to know how do you like it is just go slightly a little bit far away from your painting a little bit and then see if you want to go back with any other color Alright, so 
that's all I'm doing here. Now I'm gonna clean my brush. So sometimes these bigger brush are very hard to clean. So what I like to do is just go all the way down in my cup uh, and then move my brush so that um, think like you are painting on the bottom of your cup. And then wipe it on the edges. Alright, so I'm actually done with that big brush. I'm just gonna put it put it aside, and then I'm gonna grab my small brush. Alright, so first I'm gonna wet my bristles, and then tap extra water. Okay, now I'm gonna use uh, more brown like this. So this time, I'm actually going to use a little bit of water because the brown that I'm using is a very thick paint. So all I'm going to do is take a, just a couple drops of water, mix it, mixing it with a tiny little brown, not the whole paint, just a tiny little brown. This will give me sharp line. Okay, so uh, as you can see in the original painting, there is a three big vertical lines. So that's what I'm trying to add now. Alright, so let's say this is the middle of my canvas. So I'm going to add my first line right here. It doesn't have to be perfectly middle, remember that. Okay, so, um, and you don't need any straight line. There is no straight line in wood, right? Alright, so uh, here I'm just going to add a line like this. I hope you can see mine. Let me make it slightly more darker. So you might want to go a couple times to make it darker. Okay, so that, that is my first line. I'm going to add a couple more, so maybe one here and one over here. Alright, so now I'm going to start adding a little knot that, uh, that are on my wood. So uh, if you see, can see in the original painting, it's somewhere over here. I'm just going to leave it with like a one palm space from the top and this is where I'm going to add. So for that, I'm still using my same brush and same brown paint. So here I'm going to take some more paint. And then let's say it looks like it's, there is no perfect straight, remember that for this part. Uh, here I'm just going to dab a little bit. And then add a wiggly wiggly line like that, going up and down, making this area, middle area slightly more wider. And then adding this wiggly line, taking all the top and bottom like that. Okay, I'm just going to start dabbing over here in the middle. 
And now I'm going to add a wiggly line like that, going down and up. It's almost like my hair is shaking, so something like that. I'm trying to shake my hand so that I get this kind of line. Okay, I'm gonna repeat a couple more times. It's okay. Take your time. So I'm trying not to make it too even, so that's why I'm just going to add a very random uh, wiggly line. Uh, so maybe one will be here, just very random. One there. Again, I'm just adding very random lines on my pin. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do here. So now it's a time for a little break. So uh, let's take a little break so that our background dries uh, and then we're going to start again when it is nice and dry. And before you take your break, make sure you clean or leave your brush in your uh, water. Alright, so ready for the next part? So uh, my painting is nice and dry. If yours is still wet, you can just wait a little bit more longer. Uh, we just need to um, make sure that the bottom of our canvas is dry. You don't have to worry about this top part. Just make sure this bottom of area is dry because uh, we're going to be working on this bottom area and we're going to add some grass. So uh, for that, I'm going to use my biggest brush. So um, make sure you, it's nice and clean. Alright, so uh, as you can see in the original painting, uh, we're going to be adding some grass over here and it's a darker green. So let's create a darker green color first. So for that, I'm going to use two colors. One is a big glob of green, putting on side of my plate like this. And then I'm going to take tiny little blue, not too much. So as you can see, this much I take green and this is what I use uh, for blue. And then I'm just going to mix both together like that. As you can see, the difference between this green and this green. So this one is darker than the original. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to take a little bit more blue here. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to hold this canvas on my hand because uh, it's going to be hard to, if you are also using easel to do the bottom. So I'm going to show you a couple ways. One is you can just... Uh, Keep it on your easel and start from bottom and then bring your paint up like that. Or you can just hold it on your hand and then bring your paint up like that. So uh, I'm just going to start from all the way to the bottom and then bringing my paint up. So for this part, you might want to take a little bit of water. Otherwise, you will just stop right here. If you want a little bit longer stroke, uh, you need to use the water. So here, I'm just going to take a maybe four to five drops of water mixing it with my paint and then see the difference now so there you go you're going to have this kind of a longer line so here all i'm going to do is just repeat the same thing starting from the bottom and then bring your paint up just like that so start with a very uh, small grass you can always make it more uh, taller more longer if you want to if you are still not comfortable this way, just flip your canvas this way and put it on your easel. And then take some more paint and just start from top and then bring your paint down. So this is the easiest way to add your grass, but it's up to you however you are comfortable with. You can uh, try that way.
So here I'm gonna use one more color, which is uh, just a plain green. But for that, I'm not gonna clean my brush. We don't have to. So here I'm just gonna take a plain green. I'm gonna repeat the same thing, but I'm not gonna go crazy like I did last time. Uh, because I'm gonna apply very less green here uh, and darker, keeping very darker green there. Alright, so again, I'm starting from bottom. I'm bringing my paint up like that, just very random. I'm not going everywhere. Okay, and then I'm just gonna clean my brush or you can just leave it in your water. All right, so ready for the next part? So for the next part, I'm gonna add my jar. So for that, I'm gonna use my tiny, tiny brush. So I'm not talking about the middle one, I'm talking about the tiny, tiny brush. Alright, so uh, first I'm going to add my jar. So for that, I'm going to wet my bristles first in my cup, in my water. Tap the extra water. Alright, so I'm going to create a lighter blue color for my jar. And you can use any color you want to, but I'm trying to create a glass jar. So that's why I'm using a lighter blue color. So here I'm just going to take a bigger glob of white, putting one side of my plate. And then using a tiny little blue, not too much. And I'm gonna mix both together. I'm creating very light color. All right, so this is the color that I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna take some water here, maybe four or five drops of water, mixing it with the tiny paint, not the whole paint, to get the edgier line. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take that paint. If you feel like you have too much paint on your brush, all you have to do is just twist your bristles. So uh, maybe something like this, so that you don't have too much paint in your brush. So I'm gonna take some paint here and then twist my bristles. Okay, so it's a time to think about how big, how small like uh, you want to add your jar. Mine's gonna be almost uh, about like a bigger than my palm size. So let's say I'm going to add, so this is where I'm going to add. You can add wherever you want to, maybe in the middle, slightly on the left or right. So let's say maybe I'm going to add a line over here. And one more. So don't worry about going a lot on this uh, green area right now. It, it, the green is still wet. It might be hard for you to do that part for now. So you can skip do, doing that part for now uh, and then start working on this top area. All right, and then I'm gonna add the lid area. So let me just add a one line connecting this to line like that. All right, and then I'm just gonna add of this kind of a line over here one two and three and same thing on the other side one two and three and then i'm just gonna connect these two again i'm just using the tip of my brush hardly touching my canvas making my line slightly a little bit more thicker thicker because remember, remember we don't need any thin line here okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna add one more line that looks something like this. I'm gonna start from here, making my curve up, and then connecting to this here. Okay, so now I'm gonna start adding my flowers. All right, so I'm gonna use a different color, so I'm gonna clean my brush. Okay, so now my, I'm gonna start adding the stems first. So for that, uh, I'm gonna use a brown paint. You can use any other color if you want to. So here I'm just gonna use a brown paint and I'm still using my tiny brush. All right, so um, I'm gonna also use a little bit of water here and some paint. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna very randomly start adding the stems so that maybe looks something like this i'm just starting from here coming all the way down in my jar make sure you are coming inside your jar i hope you can see that brown on brown so uh, let me make my brown slightly darker so you can see my brown Make sure you're coming inside your jar. You can just overlap your blue line that's here. You don't have to just uh, find an area and then add your stems. So here I'm just going to keep adding more and more stems. So I'm not worried about how uh, it's going to turn out darker, lighter because I'm gonna cover it anyways with lots of flower, right? So it's okay if it's still too light or if it's too dark, but make sure you are coming inside your jar. You can go all the way to the top if you want to. And if you notice, I didn't really come all the way down in my jar. I just maybe stopped right there. But you can come all the way up. All right, so now it's a fun time. So I'm gonna leave that tiny brush in my uh, cup and then I'm gonna grab my middle brush, the middle uh, small one, round one. And then uh, I'm gonna use two colors, orange and the yellow. So here I'm just gonna take some uh, yellow and let me show you a very simple flower shape that we added uh, in this painting. Uh, so let's say this is the flower over here. The, this is the center of my flower. I'm going to add one, two, three, and four petals there. That's all I'm doing here. All I'm doing is just stamping it and creating this flower. So again, one, two, three, and four. So let's do that for all of our flowers. So again, one, two, three, and four petals. 
You can add more petals if you want to, but I'm trying to keep it simple. Easy and four petals. So I'm not coming all the way inside, uh, if, you, if you can, if you want to. I'm just trying to follow my painting. So this is the part gonna take a little time so whenever I'm done and I move on to the next part you can always just pause this video and start again whenever you are done and that's the best part about this
so now here I'm done adding my flowers I'm gonna add the center of my flowers using just the orange paint so uh, I didn't really clean my brush so we don't have to uh, I'm just gonna take my orange paint and then all I'm doing is adding a center of my flower like that just a tiny little dot for all the flowers It's okay if you sneeze some of the flower that happened to me all the time. So it's just trying to find the center and adding a little dot there. Okay, so here I'm done applying my uh, orange here. If you are still working, you can just pause this video and start again whenever you are done. Alright, so I'm going to move on to my next part. And for that, I'm going to be using that middle brush, round one. So I'm going to clean my brush first. Okay, so now I'm going to go back on my jar. That's the last part that we need to do in this painting now. So uh, here I'm going to use this uh, light blue color that I created last time. I'm going to color my bristles with this color. And just very randomly, I'm just going to work on these edges of my jar inside of the edges. So I'm just going to apply this uh, blue very randomly like that going up and down. And also going to do the same thing on the other side like this, just going up and down. I'm not covering it so perfectly. I'm, I can still see the green over here and brown up here. This is a glass jar. So that's why we are trying to create some glare. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same thing around this lead area right here i'm just gonna fill just some of the area like that adding horizontal line like that okay so now i'm gonna repeat both of uh, the same thing again with the different color but for that we need to clean our brush so here i'm just cleaning my brush next color is white so here I'm going to take a little white doing the same thing adding a line and kind of uh, blending it a little bit okay and then I'm also going to do the same thing over here just very kind of like a little part of this white here okay so yeah that's all I'm doing here Alright, and I'm also going to add one more color here, which is uh, yellow. So I'm just going to take a tiny little yellow. And then uh, just because my flower is kind of falling down in the jar, so that's why that is a little kind of a yellow in my jar like that too. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. Just adding the four five lines there. But yeah. Okay, so now I'm done with my painting. So that's all I'm doing here. If you like to go back, if you want more flowers and more flowers, you can always do that. 
Alright, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, painting with me. Make sure uh, whenever you are done painting, you clean your brushes with the soap water so that you can use these brushes again if you want to. And uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed painting with me. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of these kind of paintings step by step. And I'll see you next time. Bye!